Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Futurama. This is season one, episode two. And last time on the pilot, I got to meet a whole bunch of fun characters. We have Fry, who is so excited to be a delivery boy, but in space. So much better than being a delivery boy, but on Earth, I guess. Uh, he made some new friends in Bender and Leela, and uh, his great, 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 many more greats uh, nephew, who is the owner of the spaceship that they're all taking up into space. So looking forward to seeing what kind of shenanigans they get up to. And yeah, um, ready to get started? Leave a like, really helps the channel. If you want to check out early or full reactions, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. Evans, where's that package from Earth? Uh... I'm not Evans! I'm not Evans. Planet Express. Here's your package, Mr. Horrible Gelatinous Blob. HG Blob. He's not Evans either. Oh, shoot. Planet Express. Our crew is replaceable. <laughs> your package isn't. Our crew is replaceable. Are there really giant birds like that? No, no. That was all just special effects. Now let's have breakfast. Hmm. I hope everyone likes eggs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, we're open. I'm never gonna get used to the 31st century. Admiral Crunch? Admiral. You don't like that. He got promoted. Try some Archduke Chocula. Archduke. Now, which one of you is the captain? I haven't picked a new captain yet. Ooh, pick me. Ooh, pick ooh, me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, you. Oh. Death by airlock failure. Mm -hmm. Death by brain parasite. Yeah. <laughs> Death by sonic diarrhea. Oh, yeah. Sonic. Look, I don't know about your previous captains, but I intend to do as little dying as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All of them do. Sign the paper. <laughs> Sign the paper. Now, Fry, before you go... Mm. Hi Dr. Zoidberg, this is Fry. Now open your mouth and let's have a look at that brain. No, what? No, 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 not that mouth. I only have one. Really? Really? Uh, is <laughs> there a human doctor around? Open it and say... <laughs> <clears throat> what? My mother was a saint. Get out. <laughs> oh, this is our intern, Amy Wong. I like having her around because she has the same blood type as me. Hey, oh. you're the unfrozen guy of the Mars Wongs. Look, we're not as rich as everybody says. Oh. Uh -huh. Look at my oh. head. It's okay. Look at my head. I got big old head and hey ho. <laughs> it shows over. I'm tired. Where are we going anyway? The moon. The moon. The moon. The moon. The moon. Moon. Wow. The moon. Moon. I'm gonna be a famous hero, just like Neil Armstrong and those other brave guys no one ever heard of. <laughs> I love stuff like the moon. Nothing will go wrong. If something uh -huh. goes wrong, bring back the blood. Bring back the blood. Ten. Nine. Uh, okay, we're there. We're here. We're there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> Wow. I don't remember how far the Earth is from the moon, but that might have been light speed. Open till nine. That's Open one till small nine. step for Fry and one giant line for admission. Whoa. You're not going to believe this, but they landed an amusement park on the moon. Gah. It's the happiest place orbiting Earth. We'll deliver that crate like professionals, and then we'll go home. But I've never been to the moon before. Oh, all right. Just be careful. Aye, aye, Captain. I mean, only one eye. I mean, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> Aye, aye. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I'll have to confiscate your alcohol, sir. Oh. oh. Saw this guy in the outer world. At least I my self-respect. <laughs> I got you guys refrigerator magnets. <laughs> oh. How many roads must a man walk down? Magnets screw up my inhibition unit. So you flip out and start acting like some crazy folk singer? Yes. I guess a robot would have to be crazy to want to be a folk singer. Aww. Monsanto presents the Goofy Gopher Monsanto. Why does a Monsanto. It's a meteor. meteor. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this phony stuff. But the phony stuff is what's fun. It's boring out there. Yeah, 
You're the kind of guy who visits Jerusalem and doesn't want to see the sexateria. Maybe Whoa. I should take Fry on the lunar rover ride. The line's short because it's educational. I don't care how <laughs> educational it is. Let's do it. I don't care how educational Next it is. Next year in Jerusalem. Oh, my God. One of these days, Alice. Bang. Zoom. Straight to the moon. And he was just using space travel as a metaphor for beating his wife. He was? The key. The key. Ah, the keys to the ship. Uh, Leela's going to kill me. Hiya. No one knows where, when, Did not understand that. Man, we're when is on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whale, so we tell tall tales and sing a wailing tune. <laughs> That's not how it happened. Uh oh. When, when is oh. Oh. I died doing what I loved. I died doing what I loved. Okay. Those are sentient robots. Now I'll give you ten minutes. He can get in a lot of trouble Agreed. in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. How about we go look for the original moon landing site? That's crazy. It's been lost for centuries. Well, really? I'm feeling lucky. How? Never trust anything Fry says. I guess. I'm ready to go back now. It's every man for himself. Really? <laughs> Every man for himself. Help me, Leela. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the claw, but... Oh. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm gonna go build my own theme park with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the park. <laughs> forget the park. Just blackjack and... Okay. Oh. Trespassers, eh? No, the moon sir. shall rise you again. Our patrons. Looky here, city girl. Oxygen don't grow on trees. You'll have to earn it doing chores on my hydroponic farm. <laughs> Just don't be a touching my three beautiful robot daughters. You who? You who? <laughs> and the crushinator. You who? You who? Call it. <laughs> We got to see craters and rocks and that one incredible rock that looked like a crater and and these fellas. Ha! Ah. So face it, the moon is a dump for the tacky little amusement park. Insects with udders. I guess I can't. You didn't touch the crushinator, did you? Of course not. A well, lady that fine, you got a romance first. <laughs> no. Did we just steal the oxygen? In? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Jump. Jump. <laughs> It's the freaking Confederate flag on them. How did I not notice that earlier? A moat with alligators with Hey, cool! Dark side of the moon. <gasps> Nightfall's coming. Cold is coming. Hurry before we freeze. We can't outrun it forever. Over there, look. It's the moon landing. Oh my God! We found it. And Neil Armstrong's footprint. Hey, my foot's bigger. Wow. Leela, isn't this the greatest thing you've ever seen? It's just a crummy plastic flag and a dead man's tracks in the dust. Fine. I'll go build my own lunar lander with blackjack and hookers. And yeah, forget the lunar lander. <laughs> forget the lunar lander and the blackjack. <laughs> oh. Ah, screw the whole thing. Oh. I still don't get what the big attraction is. A thousand years ago, I used to look up at the moon and dream about being an astronaut. I guess I just wanted you to see it through my eyes. It really is beautiful. I don't know why I never noticed before. <laughs> hey! Not the magnet. No. Not the magnet. Magnet's better than getting. Horned shreds. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I'll kill you, Amy. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming. <laughs> That's not the only lyric. Oh, they took the whole thing. So, Fry, was the real moon anything like the moon you used to dream about? Uh, close enough. Close enough.
Well, I'll shoot her with my ray gun when she comes. And yes, I'll shoot her Is that a euphemism? When she comes, when she shoot her with my ray gun. All, the humans in the world. <laughs> all right, 30th century. 30th century fox. I like that little detail. Yeah, another fun episode. Uh, we're introduced to more characters this time around, more employees of Planet Express. And I guess the professor isn't just flying by the seat of his pants as much as I thought he was. Uh, Hermes seems pretty normal and pretty on top of things for now. Uh, Dr. Zoidberg is clearly not ready to treat human patients. Uh, he told Fry to open his other mouth and told him to make weird noises. I, I think the rest of the crew, uh, excluding Bender and Leela, are human. And at least Leela's like humanoid, so... Are we really okay with a doctor that doesn't know basic human physiology? I mean, there's just so much uh, potential for hijinks there. And uh, we also meet the intern, Amy Wong, from the Mars Wong family. Um, Bender's head distracted her and his body pickpocketed her, which, yikes. Um, apparently, Bender's body and head uh, have separate consciousness consciousnesses. Because um, the body had to signal to Bender that it was successful with the pickpocketing, and the head said, like, nice going, loser, or something like that when the body failed to catch the head. So I can't tell if he's... I actually can't tell if Bender is doing a bit or if they're actually uh, two separate consciousnesses within his body. Um, at the beginning of the, uh, of the episode, the intro said in color last time, and this time it said in hypnovision. Uh, I do see potential there for silly taglines. Uh, I guess we'll see going forward. And yeah, the professor officially makes Leela the captain this episode, which makes sense. She's clearly the most capable. Uh, Fry would get too distracted uh, from just doing random Fry things, and Bender is Bender. And uh, yeah, one thing that surprised me was that on their mission to the moon, they shot up from Earth in like a second. And I actually looked, went and looked it up, and it takes the speed of light. Uh, it takes light one and a third seconds to reach the moon from Earth. So. This show is saying that by the year 3000, we'll have figured out light speed space travel that somehow insulates people inside the spaceships from the force of acceleration. Uh, that would be really, really impressive. I would be impressed if we were able to do that by year 3000. But yeah, I get the feeling, I actually get the feeling that with a show like this, they sometimes bend the rules of physics and other laws uh, if it makes for a good joke. Uh, but yeah, the moon had been made into a amusement park. Definitely takes away that special feeling of traveling into space. It's like no different than visiting some other Earth tourist trap, essentially. And we learned that Bender wants to be a folk singer when it when the when Fry got a magnet and put it on Bender's head um, at the Amusement Park. Amusement, amusement park. Never mind. And uh, later at the again at the end with uh, Amy using the winch. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, funniest part of that episode might have been Leela suggesting that they take the lunar ro uh, rover ride for the most authentic moon experience, saying there's no line because it's educational. Uh, <laughs> really hilarious. And then Fry with, I don't care how educational it is, let's do it. Uh, that was really funny. And uh, he drove himself and Leela into quicksand by just knocking himself off course and was like, every man for himself, he immediately gets in trouble and is like, help me, Leela. And she does, despite him trying to abandon her literally just a second ago. So uh, definitely support the professor's uh, idea of making her the captain. Uh, but yeah, Bender uh, eventually got kicked out for trying to use his arm to get the keys. And saying he'll build his own amusement park with blackjack and hookers. And actually forget the amusement park. He's just going to do the blackjacks and hookers thing. Uh, looks like Bender knows how to partay. And yeah, eventually Leela and Fry and Bender come across the frickin' Confederate in space. I mean, I guess some things never change. The moon shall rise again. I mean, wait, like, human civilization was destroyed when uh, Fry was in that cryonic chamber, right? Like, these idiots worshipping the Confederacy are around even after that? My heritage, like, really? Oh, that's kind of sad that it's around even another thousand years from now. But yeah, uh, Bender <laughs> tried to romance the Crushinator and they were all chased away. Um, Leela and Fry wind up at the first shuttle to the moon. Fry steps on Neil Armstrong's footprint on the moon? Dude, you just... Uh, 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 but eventually, he gets Leela to see the moon the way he sees it, uh, something myth myth mystical and beautiful. And because he's such, from, he's, such, he's from such a different time, he's showing her new ways to look at things. Well, old ways to look at things that are new to her. 
And we already saw some level of attraction in the first episode. And I mean, I don't know if it's a good basis for a relationship, but I think I mentioned in the first episode that I fully expect that there will be a will, what will they, won't they kind of relationship for a while. Um, yeah, Amy winds up coming back after getting really good at the claw machine. She got all the stuffed animals and the key. And she's so good at it now that she's great at using the winch as well. That picks up Bender with the magnet. And also brought the moon shuttle thing with them. Like, <laughs> it's been there for more than a thousand years at this point. Just disturbing a place with so much history. And uh, yeah, Bender just starts singing folk songs the entire way back. <laughs> I hope he gets to be a singer one day and realize his dream. He was he looks so sad when he's like, what kind of stupid robot would want to be a folk song sing folk singer? Ugh. But yeah, not as much to talk about with this episode as the first one. Uh, had some exposition and new characters. And we see a different aspect of the Man Out of Time storyline with Fry. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying these reactions with me. Uh, leave a like, really helps with the channel. Uh, new episodes every week. And we're one week ahead over on Patreon. And also full reactions are over there as well. So check that out in the link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.